Hi guys. Now you are going to learn about the voltage transformation ratio K of the transform. Okay. To study the voltage transformation ratio, let us consider the EMF equation as E1 is equal to 4.44 n1 bm into a into f okay where bm is the maximum flux density and a is the cross sectional area f is the frequency and n1 is the number of turns now the emf induced turn e1 by n1 per number of turns is 4.44 pm a into f okay so e1 by l1 is equal to 4.44 into bm into a into f similarly e2 by n2 e2 by n2 is 4.44 bm into a into f Okay, so now by observing these two equations, by observing these two equations, 4.44 BM is the maximum flux density. So BM is the maximum flux density, maximum flux density. Basically, it depends on the material which we have chosen before uh, uh, constructing the magnetic core of the transformer and a is the cross sectional area of the core cross sectional area of the core a is the cross sectional area of the core so f is the what is f load frequency okay transformer is a constant frequency device okay so here by observing these two equations we can say e1 by e2 sorry e1 by n1 is equal to e2 by n2 e1 by n1 is equal to e2 by n2 so from that we can write E2 by E1, E2 by E1 by transferring this E1 to this side E2 by E1 is equal to N2 by N1, E2 by E1 is equal to N2 by N1 is equal to K, okay. So what is this K? K is nothing but the voltage transformation ratio. Voltage transformation ratio. Okay, so whenever whenever n two is greater than n one, what happens? K is also greater than one. Whenever K is greater than one, we can say that the transformer is step up transformer we can say that transformer is step up transformer so what do you mean by step up transformer and can you say that transformer is a step up transformer see step up transformer means see here step up transformer in the sense. In the sense, output voltage is greater than input. Okay? Output voltage is greater than input. Then we can say that the transformer is step up transformer. So, the output voltage of transformer is greater than the input voltage of transformer. Then we can say that the transformer has step up transformer step up transformers are used to increase the level of voltage increase the 
level of voltage okay and next thing is whenever n2 is less than n1 number of turns in the secondary winding is less than number of turns in the primary winding then a is less than 1 the voltage transformation ratio is less than 1 then we can say that a transformer as step down transformer step down transformer so when can you say that a transformer is a step down transformer whenever the output of the transformer voltage is less than the input then we can say that transformer is step down transformer okay step down transformers are used to decrease the level of output output level of decrease the level of output voltage okay so while studying the transformer we are considering that a transformer is an ideal transformer transformer is an ideal transformer so for an ideal transformer input power is equal to output power that is v1 i1 is equal to v2 into i2 v1 i1 is equal to v2 into i2 from that we can write v2 by v1 is equal to i1 by i2 i1 by i2 v2 by v1 is equal to i1 by i2 so as we are considering the transformer as an ideal transformer simply we can say e2 by e1 is equal to v2 by v1 is equal to n2 by n1 is equal to i1 by i2 i1 by i2 see here i1 by i2 i1 by i2 is equal to 1 by k i1 by i2 is equal to 1 by k so hence the currents are in we can say that currents are in inverse ratio of inverse ratio of voltage transformation ratio voltage transformation ratio okay so this is about the voltage transformation ratio of the transformer thank you